I guess Joe Gibbs called off the hit. Denny Hamlin announced on Tuesday that he has re-signed with Joe Gibbs Racing for a multi-year deal that will likely see him finish out his career with the only team he's ever raced for. On the other side, his team, 2311 Racing, will not be making the switch to Ford. They will instead re-sign with Toyota and continue on their partnership with the manufacturer, as well as their alliance with Joe Gibbs Racing. They've signed multi-year de deals on both. Which is kind of a bummer, right? Not because I didn't want to see them leave TRD. More competitive race cars is always good, and Toyota definitely needs cars in their stable to be a strong continuing manufacturer. But at the same time, 2311 Racing and switching over to Ford this late into the season before 2024 is here would be an absolute curveball into everything. Denny Hamlin was going to have to find a new home. He couldn't race at Joe Gibbs Racing while fielding Fords. That would just not work for either side. So he likely was going to have to end up at like Stuart Haas Racing or something wild like that. Meanwhile, his entire team would have to switch over from Toyota to Ford. And it would have just been a massive curveball into silly season, which honestly would have been pretty fun. At least it would have given everybody a ton of things to talk about. So we do know that 2311 Racing reps met with Ford reps back during the Michigan weekend to discuss the possibility of them going over to the Blue Oval family. Obviously, that didn't happen. Obviously, they were just doing their due diligence, which is just smart business, because if that Toyota deal blows up in their face, they can't come to terms with an alliance with Joe Gibbs Racing or the amount of support or whatever they're looking for from TRD. They're going to have to go somewhere else, and it seemed like Ford was more than willing to bring them in-house, and why wouldn't they be? You get Bubble Wall, super marketable. Tyler Reddick, very marketable, wins races, contending for championships. I can say the same thing. You can say the same thing about Bo Walsh as well. You also get Michael Jordan now in your stable, and Denny Hamlin's going to come over as well, a 50 time NASCAR Cup race God winner. Damn. Of course, you want all of that, right? You would be dumb to not want that. So I'm sure they probably offered a pretty sweetheart deal, but staying with TRD makes a ton of sense for Denny. It allows him to finish out his career with Joe Gibbs Racing. Obviously, TRD or 2311 Racing was built on the back of TRD as well. It also gives them the best chance and the best opportunity when they're ready to expand to three cars because we know Toyota has slots open. They've said before they want more cars out there, which makes a lot of sense, like every other manufacturer on the grid. And, you know, going over to Ford, yeah, if Denny buys a third charter, Ford's more than happy, right, to, to give them you know, the support that they were going to need. But um, from the Toyota standpoint, you know you're not pulling resources from somewhere else. They're going to have to lessen a little bit of resources to add that third car because they don't have that many cars. Next year, they'll have eight in their stable, which is more than they've ever had. I say ever had, not more than they've ever had, but the most that they've had in a long time, at least receiving some sort of factory support. So it is good for the sport that this ended up happening, right? Of course, Everybody wants to see more competitive cars on track and, you know, 2311 staying with Toyota, it will help them be more competitive in 2024 than they are now. And it also, the Toyota resources, when you're looking at it just from sim time and, and everything else, only having eight cars in the stable in 2024 is way better than joining the Ford Blue Oval family because there are far more than eight cars, double that number. I mean, poor Michael McDowell doesn't even get sim time until Thursday afternoon, uh, the week before the race, or the week of the race, I should say, when his car's already loaded up on the hauler headed to the racetrack. So, yeah, it, I'm sure all the Toyota guys are getting their sim time in before that's having to happen, of course. Uh, at the end of the day, it's great for Joe Gibbs, right? Uh, trying to replace Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch in back-to-back -back years obviously wouldn't have been great. They have John Hunter Nemechek waiting in the wings to take over that ride or the 19 whenever... Whoever leaves first, John Hunter seems to be the guy that they're going to slot in there. He'll likely head to Legacy Motor Club next year for the number 42 car, and we'll see sort of what happens there. Will that be like a Levine Family Racing, where they put Christopher Bell at for a year before moving him over to the 20 car? We'll see. Uh, obviously, I think Legacy has started to turn the corner a little bit here later in the season. Turns out it might not all be the equipment. Could have just been one of the drivers. We'll see. But for John Hunter, you have to be at least encouraged by what you've seen out of Eric Jones and this past week in Carson Hosovar, and obviously you're getting a ton of more manufacturer support for next year. So, Denny Hamlin staying with Joe Gibbs Racing, 2311 staying with Le or Toyota, <laughs> Toyota Racing Development, I almost said Legacy Motor Club, no, Legacy will be there next year. And Joe Gibbs got to take off that Grim Reaper mask and lay down the sickle as he's walking down door to door, and 2311 is now saved. So I don't know if they kissed the ring, I don't know what they did, but they did something because they are now 
back in the Toyota family for the next few years on a multi-year agreement. And uh, yeah, Denny's going to end out his career at Joe Gibbs Racing, likely never winning the championship. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and threads at Break Hard Blog.